In this exercise we're going to create uh, this wooden table. It will look like this when we are done with the exercise. And we have two dimensions to consider when we're going to create this table. It is the size of the tabletop. It's one by one meter. And the height of the table is um, 73 centimeters or 730 millimeters. All the other parts will be adjusted to uh, those two dimensions, one by one meter and 730 millimeters. So I will close this scene and start a new one. Then I begin with uh, dragging an extrude shape, drop it here in the scene, go to IntelliShape level and right click on this height handle choose edit size box and the highlighted value is the the height handle so i will type 22 that will be the thickness of the tabletop because this will be the tabletop eventually and the size 1000 by 1000 like so then i click ok then i press the d on the keyboard for fit scene and i for top front right like so. So this will be the size of the tabletop. And then I will add a leg. So I move the camera to this position or this angle. Right drag and extrude shape and right drag and drop it here in the midpoint. And in this menu we have six options. You can drop it as an IntelliShape feature or an innovative part. The other four is not included in this, uh, this exercise. So, if you by mistake choose IntelliShape feature, it will look like this. This part or this uh, extrude shape will be now an, an IntelliShape feature. But it should be a separate part. We see in the scene browser here that we have only one part, but it uh, actually it should be two parts, a tabletop and a leg. But if I expand the part, we will see that there are two features. So in this case, uh, I choose the wrong uh, option, so I will delete this one. And uh, then I will drag another extrude shape. Right drag and drop it here in the midpoint. And this time I make sure that I drop it as innovative part. So now it becomes a separate part in the scene and we can see that here in the scene browser. Then I zoom in a bit and I go to IntelliShape level, I will right drag this handle, click and hold, right drag, and uh, drop it there, type 95, do the same here, right click and drag, type 95, then I will grab this lower height handle, drag it a bit like so, then I right click this selected handle, and choose edit distance from point then I will choose a point on top of the tabletop here and here I will type 730 so that will be the height of the table so this will be the size of the table 1 by 1 meter and 730 millimeters but I need a foot so I will move the camera to this position then I will right drag an extrude shape and drop it here on the midpoint. Make sure that I choose drop as innovative part so that we have three parts in the scene. Then I zoom in a bit, select uh, this uh, foot in uh, IntelliShape level. I will right drag this green handle and then use the shift key to snap to the side. Then I will right drag this red handle and the length is not so important right now because we are going to adjust it later. So I will drop it here around 650 or like so, somewhere between 600 and 700. Then I will click on the lower height handle and I will type 45 and hit enter. So now I have added a foot but I have also changed the height of the table 
I have increased the height with 4 to 5 mm, so I select the foot in part level, turn on the tri ball, and then right click this orientation handle. Let's see now, I have to move up a bit. Right click and choose reverse. So now we have the right uh, height of the table. But I need another foot, so I select this axis, right drag inside the tri ball in this direction like so, and I'll choose copy. I need only one, but 90 degrees. And then I click OK and um, turn off the tri ball. Then I will move the camera so that we have uh, a, a good position of the camera because I will save the camera angle. So I think that will be all right. Then I come down here, click this uh, button and here we can save the camera position or the camera angle. I click here and in this box I will type table. Hit enter. So if I now orbit the camera a little bit and want to go back to the, the starting position, I can come here, select the table position, like so. Then I will save uh, this table, so I will click the save button, go to the folder where I want to save it, and I will call it wooden table. Hit enter, like so. Then we will continue in the next video.